This is George from CBTV. I am here with Ira Hill. Will you please introduce yourselves and what you do in the band? Yes, my name is Jordan Marich and I play the drums in Ira Hill. I'm Ricky and I play bass. I'm Devin and I scream. And I'm Brian and I play guitar. Does anyone sing in the band? I sing in the band. I play guitar and I sing. Oh, nice. <laughs> well, what um, bands were you part of prior to Ira Hill? Well, Ira Hill was a band called Ataxia for about a year and a half, and nothing really changed besides the name itself. And before that, honestly, I've kind of had some side projects here and there to get started, but for most of us, it's our first band, so. You liking it so far? Absolutely. I mean, every, every step of the way, we're learning a lot more. It's just been a blast, you know. Every year, more progress and more to get out of it, so. Yeah. Looking forward to the future. You looking forward to touring the bus someday? The bus, man. That's why we're doing it. For the yeah. bus. <laughs> Check that bus out, man. Every day we talk about what we're gonna fill our bus with. Yeah. Women and what else? Women. Oh, booze. Lots Just of booze. booze. <laughs> booze. <laughs> Any particular one you want to shout out so they can sponsor you? <laughs> well, cold cock whiskey. Cold cock whiskey. Cold that that, yeah. that has some good shit. Yeah. Cold cold gray goose. goose. Gray goose. Yeah. yeah. Grown. Ciroc. James. Um, <laughs> Mojitos, anywhere. Uh, Mojitos. Sailor Jerry, that's some good stuff. Oh, right. Sail yeah. I'll take a Sailor Jerry. I Kraken. drink a lot of Lady Black. We'll Kraken. Oh, Kraken. Kraken. So pretty much anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, 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 oh. Any at all. <laughs> as long as it's not Kinshaka. Yeah. As long as it's not like IP or anything like light beer. Yeah. 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 Um, <clears throat> so what's the origin of the band name Ira Hill? Ira Hill. Okay. Well, I mean, we all started practicing on um, in Akron, Ohio. Well, all from and kind of got together to place off of Ira Road and when we wanted to change our band name the biggest thing we wanted to you know stick to is just our roots and the fact that we want to be more original and having the name kind of solidifies those roots and keeps us ground to where we came from you know. Yeah. Plus to add to that Ira Hill is actually a gnarly hill on that road that yeah. kids in like the community like jump with their cars and stuff like that. <laughs> Kind of reminds me of how Parkway Drive got their name. You know, that's pretty much where they grew up. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, we get that one a lot too. <laughs> it's cool though. Rip off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they stole our name. <laughs> stole yeah. Our name. Yeah. We've been so, 20 Parkway years. Hill. Who Hill. writes the songs? Like, you know, is there any particular themes you guys write about, or just? Um, I'm gonna let them answer instrumentally, and I'll answer lyrically. Well, so as far as the instruments go, I write. 95% of stuff aside from bass and drums because um, I write the guitars I do all the um, like the synth work keys and whatever whatnot I, Jordan and I both sit down and we will hash out songs and um, go from there the more the merrier man we like to I mean back in the day we literally every time we wrote a song that'd be the one that we released and for uh, things we've been doing recently just kind of busting out as many as we can possibly do we kind of took about, about like 15 songs, we got almost 20 songs. There was almost 20. Yeah. So, so we to number three. Yeah, yeah about to say, like, what, how do you narrow them down? Because, like, for most bands, well, maybe not all bands, but, like, the ones they cut out and they release later, I could just, like, a beast, I usually end up being much better than, like, <laughs> No, I mean, it was still pretty sad for some that uh, didn't make the cut, but a lot of it kind of goes this way. That's something that I make sure that everyone enjoys what the song is about, you know. Also, we used to, we don't like being the same band, we have the same music, so it's about kind of keeping ourselves interested along with those people. What way can we be extraordinarily completely different than something that we're trying to strive for? And I mean, as far as writing goes, everything. I mean, there's no point in putting out the same album to us. I've already done things. Yeah, no. Um, you can always put like a band to it or a zoo, like right now. I'm thinking about it. I might How actually. Who told you? Have you seen that kazoo kid thing on Facebook? Yeah. <laughs> we actually recruited. Uh, yeah. He's, he's, he's coming down and throwing down, down some. And like in the, like, I'm in the land of make believe. I'm like another right now. Yeah. <laughs> we're supposed to know about that quite yet. Yeah. Darn. I'm old exclusive know. right here. Gold star. So, what bands would you say like currently as far as the music that you're making? Um. Honestly, everything under the sun. I mean, we've gone as far as you know, typical. Are you taking the photos? Happening? What's happening? Uh, interview. Uh, all the things. Not sick. 
What's up, Stevie? What's How you up, doing? Man? How you doing? Nice, nice to see you. Nice. I thought we were Get a Northern Elf in the room. Why don't you come and say hi? Hey, hey, hello. Say hi real quick, anyway. Stevie from Polo Camp. Greetings. Ruining the whole thing. My bad brother. I thought we were doing like a photo or something. Love you, Stevie. Yes, Fallen Captive is actually our biggest influence. But um, that's besides the point. We like to listen to your record. You don't want to be a second or a rip-off kind of What's up? Like so, I mean, if we listen to stuff that, you know, we're just like, 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 general content goes. I mean, instead of writing about myself more now, I just write stuff that more people can relate to. And everybody can some way or another be known. Maybe like a concept? Well, yeah. Maybe. I mean, I never really considered doing like a concept album, lyrically or anything like that. And I don't know if I ever really would. It's a lot of detail. As far as writing goes, but like, right now it's more about the voice for the voiceless for me right now. Like, I. Not like necessarily oppressed, but it's just people who are going through rough spots. Everybody's going through rough spots one way or another. I want every single song I write to be able to touch anyone one way or another. Um, back kind of on the same vein, like what, what um, particular artist or band like, inspired you to uh, start a band? Like, concert went to, like, say, My first metal concert I ever went to was actually like a Cleveland native band called Chumad. And it, I was like 14 at the time, 13 maybe, and it was just like the most crazy thing I've ever witnessed in my entire life because mind you, I mean, it's not really like a gentle way to be crazy in the music scene. I mean, they're crazy. But I mean, it was really awesome. But as far as bands that like, that motivated me to start bands, I would say Mushroom Man was a big one because it was like the first band I ever saw. I would say Brand New, Love Brand New, Death, Always. Um, how about this fire from Cleveland, the hardcore band? A lot of hardcore bands from Cleveland, man. I mean, just seeing the passion that they had, that they had there, like 10 years ago, 14 going to these shows, and you know, down the street, it was just unreal to the amount of passion that they had. This turns into an argument all the time. I know, I, I think pretty sure they squashed the beef. Yeah, they did. Quite they, they, should, they, should, they, they should be going on tour. Well, I said so high because they're a better band. But we won't talk about that. What do you do to prepare for a show like, you know, flexing, maybe? We take our shows off. We all work out a lot, except him. But, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> actually, what we do is we all get naked in a room together and rub against each other's bodies. I'll, I'll just say maybe a circle. Yeah, that's <laughs> a couple true. times every now and then, you know. <laughs> Depends if I'm are, feeling it. Sometimes it happens. Yeah. You feel a tug in there, but it's not the main problem. I never questioned whose yeah. hand it was either. Yeah. I know it's a very loving hand, regardless. I heard it feels better when someone else. We just stare into each other's eyes. So I don't know, man. I sit on mine sometimes. It's the same effect. Yeah. Don't fall asleep. <laughs> no. no, um, actually, no. Um, what I was getting to is that we work out a lot, so sometimes we take like pre-workout before the set, we stretch a little, maybe like actually curl some weights, fire out, <laughs> cocaine, drugs, yeah. um, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of cocaine. Um, sorry, the power to the mask. Why are you getting this out of me? Who is this? It's a confessional, man. It's you want something? Jesus. <laughs> Professional, we should have like the barricade. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want us to offer you? Forgive me, <laughs> <laughs> you might actually hear that line. Up. <laughs> but uh, okay, uh, a couple more questions. If you could tour with any bands, past or present, who would be Day to Remember, my favorite band, one of my favorite bands for sure. Because they matured throughout every album they've written, they've aged perfectly with their music. Love it. They, great. they grind it out too. They just Oh, yeah, they're nuts, man. They've been around for 13 years now. And I mean, like, that to me would be, like, the biggest part of all of I would love to play with ICP because I think we would have a really good, um, striking with DJ Rose. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah, honestly, I mean, then we get along with them very well, and uh, it would just be the, um, the ideal move. Right. So maybe you can tell us how magnets work. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Precisely. <laughs> okay, is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, well, a little bit of background. We are the Power Rangers. We have come to basically fix the uh, sadness and the lack of energy in society and the scene. So, by bringing color to the world, as you can see. I was hoping you would say we're all Duke Duke and I've come here to kick ass and chew bubble gum and I'm all out of bubble gum. I'm not out of bubble gum, no, man. It's a lot better than what I said. Not yet. <laughs> God, is that a Dr. Acula oh, reference? Yeah, right. Anyway. That wraps it up. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Jordan. Oh, yes, Thank appreciate you, it. Jordan. Peace.